Well, welcome back. We got some more tow truck off-road Olympic stuff to talk about today. Uh, we're going to talk about the main concern that everybody has is weight. Um, and also, stirring the pot a little bit. Not me. Um, Murphy's Diesel is doing that. I mean, with the recovery aspect of it, I mean, there's nobody better than me. Now, that was taken a little bit out of context. Here's the whole clip. Talk about this off-road Olympics. Well, I, I don't really know what it is. I've, I've never heard of it. Uh, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but um, I mean, I'm not opposed to going to wherever they're holding the off-road Olympics. I've heard that the off-road Olympics is going to be on buggy trails, and if you don't have four-wheel steering, then you ain't going to make it. Um, I mean, with the recovery aspect of it, I mean, there's nobody better than me. But yeah, I'd be down. I'd be down to go. Well, I guess we'll just have to try to convince Matt to give him an invite out there so he can uh, prove to us what he's talking about. All right, now on to weight. First thing, um, these trucks weigh all over the place. So I, I don't know about you guys, but I think it would be pretty cool for us to have a, an actual weigh-in a real weigh-in before the competition to see how much these trucks actually weigh, how much is actually on each uh, axle, or uh, how much is actually on each tire. Just kind of get a kind of get a weight bias on the trucks. I'm kind of curious about that. I think that would be kind of interesting. Um, but now, a lot of people are concerned about the weight, especially with Eric's truck. They think it's too heavy for the sand which it very well might be, it is a heavy truck. Um, there's a lot more to consider there though. Tire size, air pressure, the tires, tire type. Um, we're not gonna get too into that with our math to figure out these trucks and how they compare to each other. But we will do, we will do a little bit of math um, coming up. Uh, first, we'll, we'll go over the weight of each truck compared to their tire size, and then we'll do a little bit of math to see how they compare to each other. Um, another thing about weight being the heaviest isn't always the worst. Um, yes, uh, okay, so you are more likely to sink in the sand, but these are tow trucks, they do need the weight. Uh, all three of the wreckers that are for sure going Eric's, Paul's, and Rory's. I'm leaving Matt's out because it's not built yet. Um, but those three that have been in the field working, all three of them have had problems with the front end coming up. So the lighter the truck, the more likely the front end is going to come up. Um, a lot of times the trucks are used as anchors to winch, so heavier would be better there. Um, I'm not saying heavy's better in every situation. I'm not saying lighter is better in every situation, but it also it all depends on the situation and how the truck is put to use. Now, like I said, tire size plays a big role in that too, and how you drive the truck, really. Because um, it's not always about weight on the ground, it's about pressure on the ground. Um, I don't know how many people know this, but a human being in high heels, that heel when you step down actually puts more weight, or not more weight, sorry, more pressure on the ground than an elephant's foot, even though an elephant weighs, what, a hundred times more than a human? So, kind of same concept here. So we'll, we'll go through the trucks right now, look at their weight and tire size, and then we'll do a little bit of uh, very inaccurate math. Now, before I get into this, I want to mention that um, some of this is fact from the YouTubers saying it in their videos. Some of it's just going through comments. Some of it's a little bit is guesswork and speculation um try to be as accurate as i can if i am wrong with anything please let me know so now the first truck i want to talk about is a truck that everybody thinks is too heavy it is a heavy truck i'm not gonna lie um eric's big red wrecker now i believe in one of his videos if i remember correctly i can't find the video again um but i believe he said it was ten thousand pounds whether that's him guessing or if he actually weighed the truck. With him hauling it all the time, I believe he probably weighed a truck. I would not be surprised. Um, 
but 10,000 pounds. And he's on 37 inch military tires. Um, he's got six of them, which was another thing that will play a role in it. How many tires you got on the ground? Some of these trucks only have four. Uh, now we're gonna go to the opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, the lightest one, Rory's truck, Trail Mater. Um, 7,000 pounds, so quite substantially lighter. Um, which another thing with him wheeling is he's got a lot shorter of a wheelbase, but that's something else entirely to talk about. Um, his truck, he's on 37s, uh, according to this website. That was the only information you could find on that. Um, again, on six of them. So his truck would obviously have less pressure on the ground than Matt's, considering they have roughly the same uh, displacement on the ground, but he weighs a lot less. Tire width does obviously play a part in that too. I don't know the width of the tires, so we're gonna kind of ignore that for now. Paul's truck. Uh, Grandpa Sherm's tow truck, or also known as the Rat Rod tow truck. Um, I believe he's on 37s as well. I could, I don't actually know what size tire he's running, but he's only got four of them. And um, I think his truck is gonna be um, about the same weight as Eric's, maybe maybe a little lighter. Um, his, his truck, he's not done building it, so it's kind of hard to tell, but he put a big block in it, a doubler, um, he just put a huge boom with winches on it in a, a recent video. Uh, he said in the video that that boom weighs like 2,500 pounds itself. So he, he, let's, let's say he's at 9,000 for the sake of this video. Now the heavyweight match truck, again, he's still building it. Uh, he said in a recent video that he's at 9,000 pounds so far. Um, he stated a few times that he's been shooting for 12,000. He's still got a long ways to go but it's supposedly it's coming in lighter than planned. Um, so for 9,000, I'm, I'm guessing he'll be probably about 11,000, but we'll see. For the sake of this video, we're just gonna go with the 12,000. Um, he's on rather large 54s. I saw the tread in the video and saw what type of tire it was, and I was really hoping that he was actually going with 58s. Uh, a couple of guys, Locally to me run that tire and they run the 58s, but Matt went with the 54. Maybe he'll upgrade to the 58s uh, later on. But those giant tires should help kind of outweigh the pressure on the ground. Uh, like he said before many times that it should hopefully be uh, a lighter footprint than even the more bare. There's the four that are for sure going. Now we'll uh, talk about the few that maybe. Merlin's Wrecker, co -Mater. Um, again, there was comments on his video of the truck concerned about its weight because it's got a big heavy Cummins in it. Um, but he does have 44s. I don't know the weight of his truck. I'm going to guess it's about 10,000 with that Cummins in there. Um, he doesn't have a box on the truck and, but he does have a big boom on it. So yeah, guess about 10,000 as well. Um, so let's say 10,000 for this video and he's on 44 inch boggers and the next one Murphy's diesel um, Like the beginning of the video uh, Hellboy there. I have no idea how much that truck weighs But it's a 5500 with a big deck on the back um, I'm gonna guess it's 15,000 pounds and he's on 335 ADR 20s nor that I have a horrible memory. So I got everything written down um, they work out to be around a 42. I thought it was a dually initially, but watching his most recent video his, that he just posted, um, it actually is only four. It's a single rear wheel. Um, so that's not going to give much displacement. And they are, they are pretty narrow um, compared to their height. And the last, maybe wildcard truck, mine. Um, my truck, when it was two-wheel drive, just a pickup truck, uh, it was like 7,000 pounds being a crew cab one ton uh, with a big block. Um, it is going to have a small block in it, so it will be a little bit lighter. It'll be this beast here of a wild 250 horsepower. Um, I'll be posting videos here of this thing being put together 
and I'm going to be installing the truck soon, so there'll be videos of that. So uh, subscribe so you can see that. Um, anyways, yeah, the truck was like 7,000 pounds, but adding all the four-wheel drive, the lift, uh, I got a box of frame, put the, the boom on it. I'm, I'm going to guess it's about going to be about 9,000 as well. So we'll say 9,000 for the video. Um, Tire-wise, in the pictures that I've shown of it, it had 40s. I probably won't stick with those. Um, they're a little big for the truck. Right now, I'm looking at about a 33 to 35 just to keep it more streetable for now until uh, I can get a trailer to haul it. But as for now, we'll be driven on the road. So yeah, 33 to 35. Um, for the sake of this video, because the only thing I have is the 40s, um, we'll just go with the 40s for this video and it will it'll give me a little bit better number, which my number's probably still gonna suck anyways. Okay, now going to the math part of this. Um, Without knowing a lot of information, we can't really figure out specific pressure on the ground. Um, we'd have to know the exact weight per axle. We'd have to know the width of the tires, pressure. There, there's a lot of things there that we don't know. So we're just gonna create our own unit of measurement. So the way we're gonna measure this is we're just gonna take the weight of the truck and divide it by tire height. Um, because we have trucks running six tires and some running four tires, we're going to multiply the tire height by the amount of tires to get total tire inches, I'm calling them. And then we'll divide the weight by the total tire inches to give us our rough weight to total tire inches measurement. Um, this measurement is not accurate for anything at all, other than just to give us, um, kind of a guess of the trucks to be able to compare them and really see where they're at compared to each other um weight to displacement size on the tires um again it's completely inaccurate it measures nothing except it, it does nothing um so because of my horrible memory i have them here eric's truck is that works out to 45 because he's got six tires match is 55 so it's 10 points higher um so that actually means it will put more pressure on the ground than eric's truck um, according to this obviously his tires are a lot wider so even though he's got four of them he probably overall um even though he's heavier actually will probably put less pressure um but according to this, he will put more. And I know I'm gonna get flack for this video that this is completely inaccurate stuff. Um, Rory's truck coming in lowest at 31.5. Paul's, just because he's only on four tires and he's still gonna be fairly heavy, he's at 60. Murphy's truck, um, when I thought he was on six tires, it would have been 59.5. He would have actually beat out Paul, but because I learned that he's on only four, it's at 89.3. He puts a lot of pressure on that ground. Merlin's puts 56.8, so still less than Paul. And my truck will be on the 40s, it puts 56.3. And on the 33s, it point, puts 68. Um, so if I was on the 40s, I'd still actually beat out Paul. Paul would be the one to put the most pressure on the ground. Um, even with a more accurate measurement just because he's on the same size tires as um eric but he's only running four of them even though he's possibly a thousand pounds lighter he actually will put more pressure on the ground so everybody's worried about eric i'm more worried about paul sinking in the sand an upcoming video we'll possibly talk about horsepower of these trucks because that'll be a big part uh like i said i got a screaming 250 horsepower here that we'll throw into my truck and uh yeah, hopefully you like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts, um, let me know how horrible this video was. Thank you.